Hi, it's me again with Corona Old Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file and it is a mess, especially for a plasma cutter. If we look, there are parts of H's. Everything is double line. I mean, even this is broken up lines. Uh, you can see there. So there's going to be at least two parts of this. And he, he, the original question was how he can space out his letters a little bit better. You see that the well, that maybe will be connected anyway, but he wanted to space out his letters. You can't space out letters that aren't text. You know, this is uh, double letters and it's not a text anymore. So I've already typed out the text. We need to figure out how long this thing is. And I'd already been working on it, so I'm gonna get rid of these little bitty lines. We're gonna draw a line, or draw an ellipse, and then we're gonna hit P. I'm actually gonna make it black so we'll know which one's ours. And I am going to increase that by holding down the shift key till it gets right till about on the text, okay? Now, what we can do now is take a two-point line about where that text is where it starts and stops. Now we can take our virtual segment delete key and delete this line. Now, instead of having to go through here and delete all these, we're gonna nudge it out of the way. So I'm gonna nudge it out of the way. And you see the where I deleted and where I haven't deleted, but we need to get rid of that. Uh, a couple ways to do it, the best way is just break the curve apart and then grab that line and hit delete. Now we need to find out how long this line is. So we're gonna to go to Windows, Dockers, Properties, and hit right here, and you get it 63.4. So we're gonna make our text with our ratio locked 63.4. And that's how long our text is gonna be. Before we do anything, we're gonna check our nodes and see it's going from right to left. We need to go from left to right. So I selected all the nodes. I'm going to right click and reverse the subpath. If you don't do that, it's not going to tech. And I'm actually going to nudge it over more so that other one won't interfere. Now we're going to go to text and text a path and put it on that path. Look at that. Now, I would not break it off the path yet. And, you know, we're really, the letters aren't as tall, but they are spaced out better. Now, let's move the whole thing over. And that's why I said I would not, you know, move anything yet um, or take it away from being a text because we can grab right here and hold it on shift and make that text grow from the outside to get it between the two lines better. So now let's move it over and we can actually go up to object and break the text apart and get rid of that line. I'm not gonna get rid of it, I'm gonna uh, move it over there. Now, I'm gonna make the second part, but I'm not gonna have you watch me take all this broken text away. Anyway, stay tuned for part two. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.